Hello and good evening. Welcome to our video series again. Today I want to talk a bit more about the things we learned in the permaculture course in Thailand. And yeah, especially in the first days when we arrived, we were lucky that we came just after the corn harvest season. So there was a lot of corn husk lying around and we could use this to produce a compost and biochar. So first we rode this tractor, this traditional, let's call it traditional Thailandese tractor, to get some corn husk, which we later used to make the compost and the biochar. You see the little pieces of black? Yes. That's char. So that's a carbon molecule. Okay, so that's the carbon structure of the actual plant. It didn't get released. So all that, so that's called paralysis that does that. So the carbon stays and the other like water things, they, they evaporate off. So at this point, when I have that carbon molecule, it's got high surface area. It's very light. It'll hold water really well. So what's interesting is it holds water at the same time that it'll withhold a lot of moisture, it also drains very well. So what it does is stabilizes the water so I have a good drain and water holding capacity. At the same time, it's a lot of surface area because of that molecule. So our effective microorganisms that we're gonna make tomorrow with our bio teas, right? So when we put our compost tea on, the compost tea can live on the carbon molecule. It likes to live there. Mm. But you see, this is what we want. So it's got a really good smoke stack, okay? going pretty good so right now what we can do is basically put enough to smother it. But the idea is to get it all around it at like kind of the same time. No more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so like smother it to put it out. The idea is to have the husk around the fire so dense that no oxygen can enter so that there will be no flames. This did not work out that well and it seems the corn husk is too big so the holes in between are also too big and too much oxygen gets to the center and the whole thing just caught fire all the time. So in the end there might be some biochar in this pile here but yeah, you can still put it on your fields and it will still have its purpose but yeah it's not as we hoped it to be so it's better to use something smaller than the corn husk maybe rice husk and then it should work much better cut this and you don't cut it really small it's like big hard pieces like this right it takes longer to break down and then it's hard to flip because it all gets stuck together it's much better if you have like a chipper you can run that through a chipper mm -hmm. so have a small pieces so definitely when you're doing your compost it's a lot easier if it's small pieces to start with than big pieces and if you can do it without a starter, it just may take a little bit longer. The starter is actually really just the soil. So this soil has the microorganisms in it. If you give them the environment they want, new stuff to eat, okay, and water, air, water, microorganisms, it'll break down. We flip it on the third day and then every other day. By the 18th day, uh, on that size pile, 1.5 meters tall by roughly 1.2 to 1.5 meters wide, flipped third day and every other day by the 18th day it will be fully composted. Oh. This is called Berkeley 18 day compost. Okay, So they did a study at Berkeley University and they did like every different way you could make compost, three inches, six inches, da, 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 all the different ways they could do it and they found if they made three greens, manures, carbons, right, in that layer, that size, flip, that was the fastest compost that they could make. Uh, you can search bioremediation or By the fifth day, it'll be so hot that you can put an egg inside and it'll cook the egg. 
What? It gets up to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> And after 50 days, it seems like more or less everything is already decomposed. They mix up the sugar water and it helps the ruminant to digest food faster. Same thing with us. If we have sugars, we digest food faster. compost we lay up some brown matter with uh, animal manure and then we put some sugar water over it which is which helps the bacteria to work faster and yeah after one month this should turn out into a bed in which you can directly plant your vegetables or corn or whatever Okay, and that's it for today. I hope you liked it and you're here next time again when we tell you a bit more about permaculture. So yeah, thank you very much for being with us and see you next time. Bye bye.